your time is precious. Uh, uh, time has flown. We can carry on and on and on. You've written so many books and, and published so much and done so much for humanity as a whole. What is your wish for the future? Um, uh, I'll leave you the last word. The, the, the last word is yours uh, um, in, in this uh, turmoil period of humanity uh, where we see uh, all these forces and uh, all these uh, pro problems that we, we experience, we observe externally. Um, uh, 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 just a, a wish, uh, uh, what is your, your intention? How do you see the future uh, for humankind as a whole? Well, uh, I think uh, as with most yogis, I see the world as a play of forces, uh, a place of forces of ignorance, forces of uh, fear and doubt, forces of love and compassion and empathy. So I just encourage people in their daily life to lend a hand to the forces of love, truth, wisdom, and to um, enrich your, your, your own life by cultivating these, these forces personally. As the Siddhas would say, God exists within you as you. He's not distant. He is seeking to communicate through your highest inner conscience to listen carefully to that inner guidance and on a daily basis um, when you begin your day uh, seek to align yourself with, with the will of, of your highest being within you, your supreme guidance um, perhaps with a prayer perhaps in silence simply saying um, not my will but thy will be done or as you will, as you will or may I speak and act and think as you are trying to guide me. So to align yourself with this higher intelligence and to be uh, a force for benevolence in, in the world and uh, an expression of light and, and joy and peace and love. Mm -hmm.